So the football will be at the 25. Right, we've got to utilize our run back. So. First carry for DeAndre Swift. And he'll be upended at the 28-yard line. Just a three-yard gain there. See, this man's moving. Damn, he couldn't get the first down though. Come on. Up. You said he wanted them yards, then. You want touches? You want more touches? You gotta earn those touches. Why doesn't the defense just like. Oh, man, who's going to run defense? We're clearly just running the ball every single play. All right. Oh, my God, bro. Of course, a fumble six. Oh damn, let's see what's that one hole. I forgot how to fly again. Five yards that time out of the scramble. But now they're looking at a fourth down situation. On fourth down, Jack Fox on to Jesus. Detroit. Back deep, Patrick Peterson. And this kick will be touched down as they spot it inside the 45. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. They've shown precious little here offensively oh, as far as they try again with a first down there. They'll start on the ground with Swift. And he's taken down but able to slip across the 30. Hey, Swift, you got to be a little bit more Swift than that. I have to admit, I'm excited by that play call and the end result because this is a team that's down big early in the first quarter and a lot of teams will just panic, abandon the playbook, and just start firing the ball all over the place. It's way too early for that. Stick to what works for you. Down double digits, and we talked about their game plan. Oh, oh I just picked the wrong play. There. You're right, they're sticking to the game plan, get the ground game going. A lot of football left to be played. On the handoff, this is Swift. And he'll be brought down just shy of the 45. Call it a gain of five that time, and they'll be left with a third and about four. Looking to throw. Nowhere to go here. He Bro. the football. <laughs> what the hell? We always hear a lot of veterans on the defensive side oh. of football. They talk as soon as I see someone open that happens. Pressure on a rookie. They got to him there to force it free, but couldn't recover it. And you mentioned the pressure. Rookie quarterback, you're going to bring more pressure to him at all times because you don't know how he's going to hold up. He was fortunate. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. They're down 17-0, really needing to find that offensive spark on this drive as they have it with a first and 10. Here's a handoff to Swift. Bro, we got this caught up on the line, but really come on. Making on. things tough on him as they stop him for no gain. So after the run for no gain, here's second and 10. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, my God, bro. I'm trying to hike, hike it. As fast as possible. Bruh. <laughs> so second quarter, this offense losing and hoping to get the football in the end zone for the first down. On first and ten, it's Swift. And they're able to get this one across the 35. 
43 yards rushing for him now on what was his 10th carry of the ball game. What makes a draw play like that successful? Well, we did see where he made the first wave miss, and that was a big part of it. But a lot of it is just being actors back there, making the defense think. It's there we go. Yes, sir. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. The Lions will use the first of their timeouts as they'll get a chance to talk it over after picking up the first down. They'll look to throw. I'm about to say, what the hell is about to happen? Nice pickup of nine yards All right. on first down. They'll come up now on we can use a timeout. We need to. They'll run the draw here with Swift. And nothing doing. He's immediately that taken dude, down nothing. the line of scrimmage. The Lions now are going to use the second of their timeouts. I think it's solid like, letting the, the play clock like run up of it. To go in this first half. They'll look to throw for it on third and one. And this is going to turn into I forget that the, the sliding in this game is so delayed. It's 27 yard line. The last drive, remember, a similar situation. He forced the ball into coverage through the pick. He learned better there. Yeah, similar to that for this game. Okay, bro. That you just can't make. <laughs> okay. I wonder why I don't pass, like, ever. I mean, I really do wonder. And he'll get it down this time to the 17. The Let's take the field goal here. Use the last of their timeouts as they'll stop the clock with 24 seconds to go in this first half. Play number seven coming on this drive. It's third and inches. He'll drop to throw. Eluding the pressure right. And able to get him down, but he does reach the five. But then we just kick a field goal. Whatever. So we've come to halftime, an abbreviated halftime show as we get rolling to quarter three. Can I just like pick something? Like, damn, bro. I'm gonna like, spammy X. All right, coach. Thanks okay. very much. Fine work as always as we welcome you back for quarter number three. The Vikings have to like their position. They've got the lead. They get this football as well as we are back and underway for the second half. And this will not be returned, so the second half begins. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. They'll run on first down. Swift. And he'll maneuver his way forward for about four. Second and six. Six yards left on second down. They'll stay on the ground with Swift. Bro, what the hell? My dude's really like force into animation. Oh no, he's a her. Oh no. Oh no. Alright. While the training staff works on him, we'll step aside and be right back. On third down, here comes Swift. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. And Charles, you look at this offense, their struggles moving the ball well documented. Dead last in the NFL in first downs, but signs of life there. Yeah, and you and I do, I think, a really good job of respecting the Dead game, less. respecting the teams. But this squad, they're in a position now where their fan base gets excited when they pick up a first down. They cheer almost like they picked up a touchdown. Despite the score, despite yeah, so the deficit, so come on. Quinn, this guy, he's running angry, running oh, wait. Arm tackles. He wants to change what that scoreboard is saying. Ball to Swift. First down. Swift yeah. takes it down to the 42, a five-yard run. This drive is pretty clear. Almost feels like old-school fundamentals, doesn't it? Want to impose their will on the defense? Was that five straight runs? Yeah, five straight carries to start this drive. And like you said, the way it's working, they may just stick with it. And he gets it inside the 35 and just shy of the third. <laughs> it's actually funny. We're actually, like, going so moving up the field just by doing, like, just by running. They'll run on first down. Oh, he's, oh, he might. Past the 20, and he gets oh, I'm about to say, we might actually score. 
I knew how to juke, maybe. And his explosion to take him all the way down near the goal line. Love that description, and it creates momentum. Maybe you hand it to him again since he's got it going, or do you fake it to him and throw it to a teammate? Right now, the options are wide open. Only a yard on the pickup there. Second and goal. Okay, they all need a block. Block, 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 block. Hold on. Dang, circle could have been open. I don't know. That's probably no. In our history, that's like that's a pick. Oh, that's off. Oh, my ability to just play this game is so bad. That this drive is not going to have any bearing on this game, but it's kind of important for one reason, isn't it? It certainly is. You got to get points. Screw it. And okay, all right, I'm being facetious here, but you get points, you feel a little bit better about well. yourself as you move on to the next one. Meanwhile, they take a shot to start the drive, but this is going to wind up incomplete. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. And he can't find anywhere to go with it, and he goes down. Emerson Griffin able to disrupt yet another pass play. That is his third sack of the afternoon. Not to go through this again. Forced out to his left. And I think the ball's out, but this so. will fortunately wind up out of bounds. He's thankful right now for that sideline because it could have been a fumble loss instead just a fumble, though they will have to punt it down. You're right about that, but do you think there's ever been a player happier to see his own punter go on the field than him? No. I mean, not at all, right? How fortunate is he that they got a chance to punt it away and it's not just a turnover at the spot. So the football will be at the 25-yard line as this offense gets set to take over. They'll try and start this drive in the air. The Vikings after him, and they get there for the sack. Daniel Hunter in there with pressure. This is like torture to play on the scene. A lot of that actually volunteered to go on all-man difficulty and start playing on the worst scene in the NFL. Finally, he sees him open. Damn. It's about time. The play action fake. They'll look to throw. And this turns into a nice gain with a slide at the end. The Lions will use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the game. They look to throw now on first down. Open oh, he actually caught, caught it. He actually caught it. That's crazy. He just caught the ball. Holy shit. He just caught the ball. They'll look to throw here on first down. He's going to fire one deep over the middle. And that is incomplete. This defense was definitely alert to the possibility of the deep ball. And they were more than ready for it. They've got the lead fourth quarter. Maybe can expect more passes like that downfield. In trouble, and he's taken down. And one of the whistles for a timeout. Bruh. So they'll stop the clock here in a game that's been decided in the closing seconds. Seventh play of this drive coming up, and a long way to go on third down. They'll set up a throw. He's going to let this go. Back of the end zone. And that will be incomplete. Well, I ain't here, I just, so. But it was not to be. And time has run out now on this game. 
So the final seconds have ticked away well, in this Minnesota as can see, I am terrible. A total team effort, Charles, on both sides of the ball. But they absolutely pinch a shutout, so it can't get much better than that, right? The defense led the way, but the offense did their part as well. They moved the ball up and down the field. So you've got to like what you saw. What do they call that? Jeez. A total team effort? I think when it's time to hand out game balls, guys from both sides will end up getting one.